Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve the problem regarding on statically indeterminate structure when subjected to the axial loads. The question is, determine the reactions at A and B for the steel bar and loading shown, assuming a close fit at both supports before the loads are applied. This problem is taken from the chapter axial load and this is the statically indeterminate structure since the support exists at both ends of the steel bar. For indeterminate problem, we use the equation of delta equals to PL over AE equals to zero. First, we have to draw a free body diagram. The supports at A and B will be removed and replaced with reaction forces RA and RB. Note that, we assume the reaction forces and internal forces always in tension. Then apply the static equilibrium equation. Summation of Fy equals to zero, upwards directions are positive. Ra minus 300k minus 600k minus Rb equals to zero. This becomes the equation one. Next, how many sections we want to cut? We analyze it using equation delta equals to PL over AE and we ignore E. Okay, look at the free body diagram. We have four different forces at A, D, K and B. For A, we have two different cross section areas, AC and CB. For E, we only have one type of material, which is steel. For the cutting line here, we have four sections, which are section AD, section DC, section CK, and section KB. For section AD, draw a free body diagram for section AD, where we cut the bar just before the point D. So external force 300 kN is excluded. Put the reaction force Ra and the internal force at the cutting point as PAD. And note that PAD we assume in tension. Then apply static equilibrium equation. And we get PAD equals to Ra. For section DC, Draw a free body diagram for section DC where we cut the bar just before the point C. Repeat the steps same as previous. Apply static equilibrium equation. Then we get PDC equals to RA minus 300K. For section CK, draw a free body diagram for CK where we cut the bar just before the point K. Repeat the steps. Same as previous, apply static equilibrium equation. Then we get PCK equals to RA minus 300K. For section KB, draw a free body diagram for section KB where we cut the bar just before the point B. Repeat the steps same as previous, apply static equilibrium equation. Then we get PKB equals to RA minus 900K. Then fill all the values P, L, A and E into the table. For section AD, Delta AD, PAD equals to RA, LAD equals to 0 0.5 meters, AAD equals to 250 times 10 to the power of negative 6 m square. EAD equals to EST since we don't have the value of E. For section DC, delta DC, PDC equals to RA minus 300K. LDC, ADC, and EDC. For section CK, Delta CK, PCK equals to RA minus 300K, LCK, ACK equals to 
400 times 10 to the power of negative 6 meter square and ECK. For section KB, delta KB, PKB equals to RA minus 900K, LKB, AKB equals to 400 times 10 to the power of negative 6 meter square and EKB. Then we know that delta T equals to 0. This is for statically indeterminate structure. Delta AD plus delta DC plus delta CK plus delta KB equals to 0. Then we calculate the delta 1 by 1. Delta AD equals to 600RA over EST. Delta DC equals to 600RA minus 180 times 10 to the power of 6 over EST. Delta CK equals to 375RA minus 112.5 times 10 to the power of 6 over EST. Delta KB equals to 375RA minus 337.5 times 10 to the power of 6 over EST. Then substitute to the delta T equals to 0. Factorize 1 over EST. Then move 1 over EST to the right or cancel it out. Then we get RA equals to 323 kN. We recall the equation 1 earlier. Then substitute RA equals to 323 kN into the equation 1. Finally, we get RB equals to negative 577 kN. The negative sign of RB represents RB is in compression.